be a princess one. Once there was a girl named Anna. Now she was a little girl. Nothing too remarkable about her, except that when she skipped, she always started on the right foot and ended on the left foot. Most people skip on one foot and then end on that foot, but she always started on the left and ended on the right. No one noticed it, but she kept track of it all the time. But anyway, she lived on this grassy moon. It's kind of a beautiful moon, grassy, big enough for people to live on, but not a full planet. It was next to this giant gas planet, and it was called... It was called Giganta Jupiter. Basically. Giganta Jupiter was the name of the of the gas planet, and Moontopia was her planet. Her name, well, she met this girl named Kia, who was a princess. So Anna met Kia, the princess, and Kia told her that giant bug aliens were going to invade. And they were already showing up. Is it a princess? It's Sit down on the floor right here. Okay. Bugs, t bugs, big giant beetles chased Kia and Anna under a bridge. A bridge. Well, how did they know? A big Julie Julie bridge. It, it shined off the sunlight until the sunlight went away because of bugs. There, there was a bug covering up the sunlight, and the and they dove into the water. They both had swimsuits on under the, somehow they all wear all, all the people wear swimsuits under their clothes just in case. There's a giant bug. Bugs hate water. And a bug grabbed Kaya anti its antenna in a night. Drop <laughs> and then dogs started barking. <laughs> that is pretty good. Okay. So what happened? When a bug grabbed Kaya and tied its antenna in a knot, dropped it dropped the princess. Kaya and Anna railway while the bug while the bug tried to remember how to untie it. No wait, it's this string, right? It's this one. Oh no, wait, that just tightens it. <laughs> Bugs chased them into the mu moon amusement park. Right? Amusement a moonsment park. A moonsment moonsment park. It's a big amusement park. It had all kinds of rides, but because they had different gravity. Luna park. Luna park. Because it was a moon, they had less gravity. They could build the roller coasters really big, but they didn't fall as fast. Hey, dogs! Dogs, knock it off! So they went to the amusement park and they hid in the haunted house. Now it was a moon haunted house, so it was haunted by moon spirits, but they were all just pretend. So the moon vampires jumped out, the moon Frankenstein, and the moon ticket taker. He was the scariest one. So it was kind of scary inside there to hide there, but it wasn't as scary as the bugs, because remember the bugs had antenna, they had teeth, they were green. They were slimy, except in the parts that weren't green and slimy, and they were black and slimy. It was, you know, they were ugly bugs. Or black and rough, in case it weren't slimy. Outside the moon, art museum, it was a big art museum. It only had pictures of the moon, though. They stood very still. <coughs> very, very still. There was one statue that was too... Two princesses on the moon that looked almost um, really good. That on the uh, faces next to the moon, and they stand very. They stood very still next to the moon, and they pretended to be the two princesses. Kaya and Anna dashed to the Royal Zoo, and all the moon animals, let all the moon animals go. You know, the moon animals, as you know, are pretty much a regular animal, except it has a goldfish ball over its head. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Someone stuffed a goldfish ball over its head. And, so what, what they do also and they're always trying, and they don't need any fences, and the bars are always like two feet apart, because they can, because they, with the toilet, with the fish ball, it would just go like, boom.
what what they do at the zoo? Johnny? So they let all the animals go so the bugs wouldn't get them. Well, guys, one thing about the animals. There was one goldfish, and they had to put a fish tank under a fish tank. <laughs> they had to put so, a goldfish head on the goldfish, <laughs> inside the goldfish bowl? <laughs> yeah, because the goldfish hole has a little opening. <laughs> Okay, well, the next place they went was the moon school. This is where all the kids on the whole moon went. Because it was a moon. They didn't have that many kids. They got there by hovercraft. They got there by hovercraft, or they went yeah. through the moon tunnels. But or they, were always... they took the moon bus. The they took the, the, the moon the school moon bus. Gloves. The moon what? The moon gloves. The moon gloves, whatever those like are. Like a maglev. Oh, like a maglev. What's a maglev? Well, they went to the moon school. And they went into the school, and they told all the kids, and all the kids were studying and stuff. I, mean, I don't know what, why they weren't in school, but they weren't. But they went there and told all the kids to hide under their desks. So all the kids got down and hunched underneath the desks. And so the bugs came walking in, clicking in, really, click, 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 with their antenna waving back and forth and looking all over the place. But they thought the school was empty because the kids, kids were hidden on their, under their, hiding under their desks, and they so just they, kept going. Do they have all grades? They have all the grades at the school, yeah. Everybody on the whole moon goes to the same school. It's the moon school. Yeah. And they're, uh... Because you can get around the moon really fast, Yeah, so. they, everybody can get there. And they're, um... They're a mascot, the moon cat. Yeah. So... And they can't get sick. They can't get sick? Mm -mm. Okay, I didn't know about it. Here's Hugo. They can't get sick on another planet. The moon folk met on a hill. A hill... The moon folk. Oh, yeah. Big giant hill. God, yeah. That's it's like 100 feet high. An old moon man. He was a little guy like a frog. Oh, he's a big gold king. He's a big gold guy now. We said we can defeat the bug with the magic. Orb. The orb? A very... What's an orb? The orb's like a, a sphere. sphere. It's a brown thing. It's a beautiful, beautiful sky blue orb. Oh, it's a beautiful girl. But the bugs landed before he could finish. Ooh. Did it shake? I didn't. They went to the royal wizard, and he said, You can't find the orb. The orb will find you. Yeah. So they kept looking. <laughs> what? The special wizard voice. Sounds well, he like, said you can't like find the orb. The orb will find you. Okay. I said that. <laughs> oh, no, I you said that. You said you can't find that. It's like that's how the wizard... I'll translate it as, that, no. you can't find the orb. The orb will find no, you. No, that, no, the wizards, that's how they talk. They can't fight the orb. <laughs> so they they kept looking, right? <laughs> Sounds like fumble on. <laughs> so they saw the camp, the bugs. And they were in this. The bugs were landing. They were invading, and they were all camped out in this big inflatable dome. It was huge. It was like big as a football field. In this big inflatable dome, and they could see the bugs in there moving around, click, 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 with their antenna and moving each other. It's the way being, of communicating. Yeah. Click, click. And so they saw them in this inflatable dome. So they ran over and yanked the plug. And they pulled the plug out, and the, the dome just collapsed all over them, and they were bugs all stuck in there. You could see them writhing around, but they trapped them. No, that, or alternately, it would zoom away like a balloon. Yeah, okay, yeah, and alternately, it would zoom away like a balloon, and it flew all over, it flew all the way out of orbit, knocked the bugs into space. So they took care of that many bugs, but there were still plenty of bugs to worry about. Yep. Two bugs chase them into a playground. A big playground. Very nice. Plus, it had a kitty roller coaster. It was called the Dragon Hunt. It, it, you were on a hunter. You were on the back of a hunter. You went anywhere, anywhere. There were five hunters. You went any path, any path. It was a different path every time. And, and also, you are hunting for dragons, and dragons are all over the wall. Okay, you have to push sit. a button. Don't talk so much about the 
and Kai used a teeter totter to knock one out. Like oh, the teeter totter, she went uh -huh. bang and knocked it out. Uh huh. She, she went. <laughs> Beast, the teeter totter bug. <laughs> no, he's <just> going like, <coughs> No, what? It's like, no, what was? It? She does it and then it's like, it goes like, no, they communicate by clicking and then it like, has a little subtitle. Hey, stop it! <laughs> right. Tried to go into the moon si science museum. The bugs were eating the moonosaur bones. And as you know, moonosaur, it's a dinosaur, but just like the animals, it has a fishball over its head. <laughs> but they need pretty big fish balls for this. Put it at your face while you're talking. Actually, they made. Oh, wait, it's recording? Oh, no. It's recording. So, they saw a flying bug zip over the palace, and they had this like zzzz, and it sounded like a whole swarm of bugs, but really it was just one giant bug. So, that was the first time that they saw that the bugs could fly. So from then on, wherever they went, they kind of stuck to the shadows. They ran over the side of a building, looked up, made sure the coast was clear, zipped over the other side of the building, and they went under things rather than over things, because then they knew the bugs could fly, and they had to be careful. Just shake it. Kaya asked a space gypsy for help. She gave them each a crystal. A beautiful crystal. Kaya's was sky a sky blue diamond. Her friend's was a dark blue diamond. Anna's. This will help you find the orb, she cackled. This is the last one. They searched the moon dungeon. Anna thought she saw the orb. But it was a human skull. Just a regular skull. Not that much. Was it creepy? Yeah. It had a fishbowl over its head, too. <laughs> okay, then they saw the Royal Guard battling the bugs near the river. It was a savage battle. They're going at each other with, the, you know, they had swords, they had guns. They're fighting these aliens as hard as they can. They're trying to save the moon from these horrible bugs. And Kaya yelled, Push them into the river! And they say started shoving the bugs in the river. And as you remember, the bugs were terrified of water. So they went zipping off in all directions. They ran off like crazy. And the guards could hold their side of the river. It was a big defeat for the bugs. But there were lots of bugs, and they were still coming. Just shake it. The bugs chased Anna and the princess into the palace observatory. A big... Observatory. Everything that you need to observe stuff. They used a cabinet to block the door, and the orb popped out. It was the beautiful orb, except it was different. It had beautiful red dot, beautiful black. He hadn't told about it, but it had dark blue diamonds on it, too. And light blue. And it just rolled out on the floor? Uh-huh. Rolled out. Hey, you just shook it for me, Tess. Oh, sorry. It's okay. That's the end, isn't it? The orb rolled to Kaya's feet. She touched it, shot out rays, destroyed all of the bugs. So that's a lot of rays. So. What was it like when it hit him? And the bugs, like, when it hit them, they exploded. Awesome explosion! And that's and that's how even more craters were made on the on that moon. Was it gross? Well, it's gross because there were bug guts everywhere. There were bug guts flying in all directions when they exploded. It wasn't really like they exploded. It was more like they sort of like they sort of froze in place, and then like they you could see like cracks with light in them, and then like the light would shine out, and then they would explode. That's the end. Yep, the end. Oh. Uh.